whereas recognition of the inherent dignity and of the equal and inalienable rights of all members of the human family is the foundation of freedom, justice, and peace in the world. Whereas disrespect and contempt for human rights have resulted in various acts which have outtracked their conscience in making it, and the advent of a world in which human beings shall enjoy freedom of speech and belief in freedom, from fear on one has been proclaimed as the highest aspiration of the common people. Whereas it is essential if man is not to be compelled to have recourse, as a last resort to rebellion against tyranny and oppression, that human rights should be protected by the rule of law, whereas it is essential to promote the development of friendly relations between nations. Whereas the people of the United Nations have in the Charter reaffirmed their faith in fundamental human rights, in the dignity and worth of the human person and in the equal rights of men and women and have determined determined to promote social progress and better standards of life in the, lar in the larger freedom. Whereas member states have pledged themselves to achieve, in cooperation with the United Nations, the promotion of universal respect for an observance of human rights and fundamental freedoms, whereas a common understanding of these rights and freedoms is of the greatest importance for the full realization of this pledge. Now, therefore, the General Assembly proclaims this universal declaration of human rights as a common standard of achievement for all peoples and all nations, to the end that every individual and every organ of society, keeping this declaration constantly in mind, shall strive by teaching and education to promote respect for those rights and freedoms, and by progressive measures, not the national and international, to secure their universal and effective recognition and observance both among the peoples of members take themselves and among the peoples of territories under their jurisdiction. All human beings are born free and equal in dignity and thrift. They are endowed with reason and conscience and soul act towards an another spirit of brotherhood. Everyone is entitled to all the rights and freedoms set forth in this declaration without restriction of any kind, such as race, color, sex, language, religion, political or other opinion, national or social origin, property, birth or other status. Furthermore, no distinction shall be made on the basis of the political, jurisdictional or international status of the country or territory to which a person belongs, whether it be independent, trust, non-self-converting, so under any other limitation of self-virgin. Everyone has the right to life, liberty, and the security of person. No one shall be held in slavery or servitude. Slavery and the slave trade shall be prohibited in all their forms. No one shall be subject to torture or to cruel, inhuman, or degrading treatment or punishment. Article 6. Every at the right to recognition. Everywhere as a person before the law. Article 7. All are echo before the law and are entitled without any discrimination to equal protection of the law. All are entitled to equal protection against any discrimination in violation of the declaration and against any incitement to show discrimination. Everyone has the right to an effective remedy by competent national tribunals for violating the fundamental right granted being him the constitution or be law. Article 9. No one shall be subjected to arbitrary arrest, det detention or exile. Article 10. Everyone is entitled in full equality to a fair and public airing by an independent and impartial tribunal in the determination of these rights, an obligation and of many criminal chain against Article them. 11. 1. Everyone charged with a penal offense has the right to be presumed innocent until proved guilty, according to law in a public trial at which he has had all the warranties necessary for his defense. 2. 
No one shall be held guilty of any penal offense on account of any acts or omission which did not constitute a penal offense, under national or international law at the time when it was committed. No shall a behavior penalty be imposed at the one that was applicable at the time the penal offense was committed. No one shall subject to arbitrary interference with his privacy, family, home, or correspondence nor to attacks upon his honor or reputation. Everyone has to write the protection of law against this such interference for attacks. Article 13. Everyone has the right to freedom of movement and residence within the borders of each state. 2. Everyone has the right to leave any country, including his own, and to return to his country. Article 14. 1. Everyone has the right to seek and to enjoy in other countries asylum from persecution. 2. This right may not be invoked in the case of persecution generally arising from non-political crimes or from acts contrary to the purpose and principles of the United Nations. Article 15. 1. Everyone has the right to nationality. 2. No one shall be habitually deprived of his nationality, nor the, the need the right to change his nationality. Article 16. 1. Men and women of full age, without any limitation due to race, nationality, or religion, have the right to marry and to found a family. They are entitled to equal rights as to marriage, during marriage and at its dissolution. 2. Marriage shall be entered into only with the free and full contest of the intending spouses. 3. The family is a natural and fundamental group unit in, of society and it's installed to protection by society at the state. Article 17. Everyone has the right to own property alone as well as in association with others. No one shall be arbitrarily deprived of his property. Everyone has the right to freedom of thought, conscience, and religion. This right includes freedom to change his religion or belief, and freedom, either alone or in community with others and in public or private, to manifest his religion or belief in teaching, practice, worship, and observation. Article 29. Everyone. Everyone has the right to freedom of opinion and expression. This right includes freedom to hold opinions with hold inference and to seek or save and impart information and ideas to own any media and regardless of frontiers. Article 21. Everyone has the right of freedom of people, assembly and association. 2. No one may be compelled to belong to an association. Article 21. 1. Everyone has the right to take part in the government of his country, directly or through freely chosen representatives. 2. Everyone has the right to equal access to public service in his country. 3. The will of the people shall be the basic of the authority of government. This will shall be represented in periodic and genuine elections, which shall be by universal and equal suffrage and shall be held by secret vote or by equivalent free voting procedures. Everyone, as a member of the society, has the right to social security and is entitled to realization through national effort and international cooperation and in accordance with the organization and resources of each state of the economic, social and cultural rights indispensable for his dignity and the free development of his personality. Everyone has the right to work, to free choice of employment, to choose in favorable condition of work, and to protection against employment. Everyone, without any discrimination, has the right to equal pay for equal work. Everyone who works has the right to choose in favorable remuneration ensuring for himself and his family, an existence worthy of human dignity, and supplement, if necessary, by other means of social protection. Everyone has the right to form and to join trade unions for the protection of his interests. Everyone has the right to rest and leisure in doing reasonable limitation of working hours and periodic holidays with pay. 
everyone has the right to a standard of living adequate for the health and well-being of himself and of his family, including food, clothing, housing and medical care and necessary social services, and the right to security in the event of employment, sickness, disability, widowhood, old age or other lack of livelihood in circumstances beyond his control. Motherhood and childhood are entitled to special care and assistance. All children, whether born in or out of wedlock, shall enjoy the same social protection. Article 26. 1. Everyone has the right to education. Education shall be free at least in the elementary and fundamental stages. Elementary education shall be compulsory. Technical and professional education shall be made generally available and higher education shall be equally accessible to all on the basis of merit. 2. Education shall be directed to the full development of the human personality and to the strengthening of respect for human rights and fundamental freedoms. It shall promote understanding, tolerance and friendship among all nations, racial or religious groups, and shall further the activities of the United Nations for the maintenance of peace. 3. Parents have a prior right to choose the kind of education that shall be given to their children. Article 27. 1. Everyone has the right freely to participate in the cultural life of the community, to enjoy the art and to share in scientific advance and its benefits. 2. Everyone has the right to the protection of the moral and material interests resulting from any scientific, literary or artistic production of which he is the author. Everyone is entitled to the social and international order in which the ring and freedom set forth in this declaration can be fully realized. Article 21. 1. Everyone has duties to the community in which alone the free and full development of his personality is possible. 2. In the exercise of his rights and freedoms, everyone shall be subject only to such limitations as are determined by law solely for the purpose of securing due recognition and respect for the rights and freedoms of others and of the meeting, the acts requirements of morality, public order and the general welfare in a democratic society. 3. These rights and freedoms may in no case be exercised contrary to the purpose and principle of the United Nations. Nothing in this declaration may be interpreted as implying for any state, group or person any right to engage in any activity or to perform any act animal at the destruction of any of the rights and fandom si for herring.